In the Netherlands, there is a village called Hergeve, which is a dementia village. This is a real place. You can look it up. It's a care home disguised as a regular village. So it has 100 residents, none of whom know they're all being secretly looked after 24-7. So they try and make it as much like a real village as possible. So you can go grocery shopping, but they won't let you pay. The cashier at the cash desk is actually a, a, a staff member from the place. And uh, when you try and pay, they go, oh, it's all right, you've got credit from last week. And you go, all right, brilliant. <laughs> you queue at a bus stop. This is so bittersweet. You queue at the bus stop, uh, and a bus comes round the corner, picks you up, drives you round the block, drops you off again. <laughs> and you go, oh, great, I've been on the bus. <laughs> That's brilliant, right? Is it? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's heaven or hell. Because it's a lie, but it's a comforting lie, isn't it? It's a good lie, like, like Father Christmas or heaven or I really enjoyed your play. It's nice. <laughs> it makes the world turn a bit more smoothly. It feels disrespectful to lie to her. And I don't think we respect the elderly in this country anything like as much as we should. I saw a poster for the charity Age UK, and it said, This is Joan. Joan's life used to be filled with laughter and friendship, but now she has no one. And I can't have been the only person looking at that poster and thinking, Jesus Christ, Joan, what did you do? <laughs> now, I realise that's not what it means. I know it's not a warning. It's not like, watch out for Joan. She's a huge bitch. I get that. <laughs> She'll reel you in with the promise of shortbread, but you must not trust her. No. <laughs> but it seemed to want to make you feel sorry for Joan. I don't think we should be encouraged to pity the elderly. What it should say is Joan is 82 years old, and you don't get to be that old without knowing a thing or two about how the world works. Donate to Age UK, or Joan is coming for you. <laughs> like a wrinkled Jason Statham, she's going to clamp her knitting needles between her teeth and Rambo up river and find you. And find you she will, my friend. She's pre-Google. She understands maps. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.